for you for weekend people and reviews um today we'll be looking at axes of an airplane now so first thing first you have a diagram here and this diagram show you all the axes now first we have three axes that I know axes three axes that are on the airplane um that I know of and those three axes are the called longitudinal axis right there the lateral axis and normal axis now each of these axes have their movement as you can see here you can see that little so, diagram right that little arrow showing though that's the movement that is acting around the axis now you can see a pitch right there in the row so you can see there that the lateral axis is right there and you have the wrong twin axis right there now each point is showing where those axes are and where they they, they run from where they come from where they where they really are so what i'm trying to say is you have the longitudinal axis back there what it's trying to say is indicate the line running from the tail there straight to the nose and you have the movement the movement that acts around that axis right here and that right there is roll so the longitudinal axis you can see the diagram is that long right line going through the center of gravity and it's actually running through the center of gravity from the nose here of the fuselage to the tail and this part here is what they call the fuselage that part right there and you have the CG somewhere around here and that's running right through the CG from the nose of the airplane to the tail so the longitudinal axis if you want to know the longitudinal axis see this memorizing the head that is running from the nose to the tail of the fuselage and now you have the lateral axis the lateral axis is running from the wing is running from the wing tip and the tip is actually at the end of the wing and part of the wing the outside end to the next part of the wing tip and that full from wing tip to wing tip they always call it the span so a lot of axis again it's running from the wing tip to the wing tip of the airplane it's going through the center of gravity from wing tip to wing tip and the movement around it is pitch now I'll soon get, um, get you to understand more about what I mean by pitch and that and then you have normal axis running through the center of gravity perpendicular to all of the other axis meaning if you can see here it's a 90 degree like perpendicular to 90 degrees so that line is going through and it's called a yawn movement so that can pour or you can see a movement hand there is like a 90 degree same goes for the other side so it's just perpendicular to the other angles now the movement I'm going to talk about a yawn movement and a roll movement and a pitch movement some of you won't understand what those movements are so I'm just going to go through the notes first so as I went through for another longitudinal axis, marginal line run into the CG, which is center of gravity, that's the abbreviation for it. Extending from the nose to the tail of the fuselage. Yes. And the movement around is the rolling movement. Um, the lateral stability acts around the longitudinal axis. You have stability that acts around them. Um, I think the only one that doesn't have any stability acting around it. Oh yeah, stability acting around it. So that's it for the longitude axis. Now the lateral axis. Come on, the lateral axis is the marginal line run to the CG, extending 
from the wingtip to wingtip. Like I just explained about the wingtip part. And the movement around it is called pitching movement. And the longitudinal stability acts on another axis. So, what you want to know about longitudinal axis is opposite to it. You're not going to have longitudinal stability acting around it. You're going to have lateral. And it's opposite around the lateral axis, longitudinal axis, stability acting around because you want to plane, you know, to, to keep steady and stable as possible it can be. Then now, you have normal axis, marginal line running to the CG, which is perpendicular to the other axis. And movement around a normal axis is known as yawn movement. Now you want to keep some of these notes up to date because some of these things help you out in flying, you understand when instructors are whoever come to you and teach you how to fly you know, they ask you some some questions and these are when you want to put in practice to tell them um, yeah. then you have a directional stability. Directional stability acts around normal axis. So these are things that basic things you want to know. And that's actually, that's actually it about the axis. But what I wanted to also explain before I go was to explain how these movements look and how they go. Now, yawing movement. Um, let's go and demonstrate my hand here. So, the yawing movement will be something like this. So let's go back. You'll be just swerving off back like that. That's the yawn movement. Now we'll swing it more in depth to explain how yawn movement and pitch movement and wool movement go. You know, so I'll get to that. Now pitch movement, something like you just go up and you go down. That's just the pitch movement. Um the rolling movement is just normal roll like that. Yeah. So I'll get more in depth and you know get Explain to you what I wanted to do to just know the axis of the rear plane and the movement around them and the stability that acts around them. So you have the non the two axis, the lateral axis, and the normal axis. And you have log the rolling movement around the long two axis, the pitch movement around the lateral axis, and the yawn movement around normal axis and this is just a start of basics you need to know about in your plane. Some people come in the act say, where the axis around the airplane? You know, we just simply say longitudinal axis and so forth. So yeah, that, that's all for me. Yeah, thanks for watching and yeah, look forward for more videos.